here you are so i've got another word that is a prophetic direction amen and a kind of like a rema word as well praise the lord so it says weed and wheat time to gather time to born and preserve we are in this time in this uh last days where we have to be uh sifting amen i, I think that's the word sifting amen the lord wants you to separate yourself from uh, what you shouldn't be yoked with amen i'm going to read the scripture and that will give us more light okay we are in the era of uh you know um separation we need to be uh, separating ourselves from everything that is not of god everything that is ungodly praise the lord okay when it's a gather what needs to be gathered what what you know we need to gather and then we need to um, separate what uh, needs to be separated and when it's a bond one needs to be born many of us have things we need to born in our lives when it's a bond one needs to be born and then we need to preserve what we need to preserve and pray over those things for preservation praise the Lord now the Word of God says in uh, the book of Matthew 13 verse 24 to 30 if, if you have your bible matthew verse 13 verse 24 to 13 says he put another parable before them saying the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a man who sowed good seed in his in his field many of us have sown good seeds we keep sowing good seeds amen praise the lord but while his men were sleeping while he, while um while his men were sleeping his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away many of us have sown good seeds in our time on this air but there are some times um that we are, are meant to be watching over those seeds or watering those seeds with our prayers with with our with our praise amen but then we're sleeping at night amen we're sleeping at night when we should be warring amen on the altar of prayer we're sleeping at night we have sown good seeds into our marriage we've sown good seeds into our children we've done all the good things and everything but we need to keep praying at night we need to keep worshiping at night amen the lord needs you to do all of these spiritual things praise the lord so the enemy finds a way to come in to try to destroy what you know um the good seeds that you have sown because you have not watched god is calling you to be a watchman the word of god says watch and pray you keep watching and you keep praying as you sow seeds into your children's life as you're speaking the words you want to see you need to speak over those words as well and water them and that is your praise and that is your worship and your dance unto the lord so that the enemy will not be able to come in um you know to to bring uh, uh wheat and all of what we don't want amen praise the lord Hallelujah. It says, so when the plants came up and, and, and bore grain, then the wheat appeared also, and the and the servant of the master of the house came and said to him, Master, did you not sow good seeds in your field? Did you not sow good seeds in your field? Many of us have sown good seeds into our marriage. We have we have you know um done the things that we're supposed to do that the Lord has asked us to do in our marriage, in our children, in in our business. Amen. We have applied the anointing all. We have, you know, um honored our um, husband amen we've been there for our children we have we have spoken words of life into our marriage into everything that concerns us amen but we need to keep doing that even at night time and keep praising god and worshiping him so that the enemy doesn't come in to destroy anything that we are trying to build hallelujah praise the lord amen so he says it says how then does it have weeds how then does it have weeds he said to them an enemy has done this an enemy has done this you see whenever god's people are trying to gather the enemy is trying to scatter whenever god's people are trying to build a house the enemy is trying to destroy that house and i'm speaking specifically about marriages kingdom marriages godly marriages whenever you are trying to build a house the enemy is trying to come and tear the house down that's why you need to constantly constantly keep on sowing those good seeds keep on sowing those good seeds amen keep on speaking the words you want to see even at night time so important many of you sleep throughout the night wake up at night wake up at 12 1 or 2 pray 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 in the holy ghost amen pray in the holy ghost praise the lord dance sing give god the glory so that he too can fight for you hallelujah he says an enemy has done this so the servant said to him then do you want us to go and gather them but he said no less than gathering the weeds you root up the, the wheat along with them let both grow together until the harvest let bro go, let both grow together until the harvest now is the time of the harvest because we are in the end days and there's so much for us to harvest amen there's um so much harvest 
that um, um, there's so much that we can harvest in our family, in our children's life, even on the uh, field out there, out there, 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 are, there are souls that need to be saved. So we are in the hour and in the age of harvesting. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. It says, let both grow together until the harvest and at harvest time, I will tell the reapers. It says, gather the weeds first. Gather the weeds first first okay so let's take out what the enemy has planted let's destroy the works of the enemy amen praise the lord it says gather the weeds first and bind them in bundles to be burned amen we're going to set the fire of the holy ghost on whatsoever evil plants and evil seed the enemy has put in our marriage in our children's life in our business in our career in our destiny in our ministry in our bodies we have to destroy that amen but gather the wheat into my barn amen gather the wheat into my barn gather your marriages gather your children gather your business let it all be about christ amen speak the word of god over them amen go out tell somebody about jesus gather souls for christ amen so whichever way you want to apply this word to yourself it applies all around okay let's separate the weed from the weight we all want to be for christ we all want to do things that will glorify the lord now more than ever before let's destroy the work of satan let's let us remove friends that we don't need in our lives let's take out the weeds let's take out the weeds child of god amen praise the lord so i pray this word blesses you and i pray father in the name of jesus christ so that you grant us the grace oh god to separate to separate to separate every weed oh god from our weeds in the name of jesus christ of nazareth even ourselves heavenly father help us oh god to separate ourselves oh lord from everything that that doesn't glorify you in our marriage in our children's life in our business in our health everything heavenly father lord come and have your way oh god have your way have your way have your way in the name of jesus christ of nazareth grant us all grace grant us grace heavenly father grant us your grace we receive your grace say i receive your grace lord jesus christ i receive your grace i receive your grace thank you lord holy spirit we worship you father we glorify you lord blessed be your name forevermore in jesus mighty name we pray amen hallelujah praise the lord i'll see you all tomorrow um uh be blessed if you're new subscribe i'm minister glenn love you love you love you so much take care family god bless you all